So this might be weird to hear me out of nowhere, especially if you're used to my commentary on this past performance analysis videos, but I thought I'd give it a shot. We are just a little over two weeks away from 2.1, the anniversary update, in which the game will introduce Acheron and eventually into the character pool. Now before we get there, I wanted to quickly test Sparkle, and with the help of a member of my subreddit r slash Starwell wallpapers, user Dr. Wannabe Me, I can. They have an E2-S1 Sparkle, so I thought I could finally test the one thing I've been really curious about. Does the kaleidoscope animation decimate the frame rate on PS5? Well, I can quickly skip ahead to show you. Can you find the answer? Can you find the answer? As you can see, it does cause some minor FPS dips, but considering this is a turn-based game, you probably will not be losing any battle because of that frame rate drop. Now before we get to the full clips, I should show you the builds for my characters and Dr. Wannabe Me's Sparkle. So here you go. Feel free to pause or skip this section if you need to. Now on to the full-blown tiny test. I will stop talking since I have nothing to contribute here. Hm. This is double speed. Disappear among the sea of butterflies. Illusions of the past. Feeling spiffy? Disappear among the sea of butterflies. Illusions of the past. Converge and awaken. Who's next? Who's next? Time for a fun. <laughs> Disappear among the sea of butterflies. Illusions of the past. Feeling spiffy? Can you find the answer? Time for a fun. <laughs> this is double speed. Who's next? Disappear among the sea of butterflies. Illusions of the past. Speed. 
And there you have it. Sparkle may not be a fool that absolutely wrecks your frame rate performance, but she certainly can interrupt it here and there. Thanks for watching, and I will catch you in the comments. There's more than one destiny to choose from.